what's scarier? This? Or this? What? What do you find so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I see. You think that my nipples are abnormally large? Well, as a matter of fact, yeah, I do. <laughs> Are pretty big. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Darcy Seagong Gaming on the Dark Side. G O T D S. Got this coming at you with episode number nine of our Gaming on the Dark Side Dawn Titans event overview and free to play analysis. This week, we're going to be looking at Loki. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button. Definitely comment, guys. It helps me out with that YouTube algorithm. And if I earn it, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. So we got Loki making a comeback with his signature weapons here, the Trickster's Blades. I am stoked about this, mostly because I've been wanting Trickster's Blades for a long time. This weekend's Finish Plus event starts on Thursday, May 13th, and it'll go all the way through Monday, May 17th giving us 90 hours for my free-to-play and my grinders. All right, guys, let's read a little bit of lore here. Loki, the mischievous Norse infiltrator, returns to the Shattered Kingdoms with new skills that grant him the power to summon Shades of Nefelheim to the battlefield. Hmm, interesting. I'm very interested in checking this out. But before we do, for the guys that want to get right into the game as soon as possible... Let's go cover the TLDR reports. All right, can you grind this event out for free? Well, if you've got 27,724 gems sitting around in your inventory, you can do a pure grind. Now, if you have relics instead, we got to look at the worst case scenario. If you had nothing but one star rolls, it would take 59 saved relics to have a guaranteed finish for this event. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, anything in between, you're good to go. If you don't have the gems saved up, how much is it going to cost you to buy the gems to be able to grind this event out? Well, hey, depending on whether or not you're going to use the relics in this event or just do a pure grind, it's going to take you anywhere from $49.99 all the way up to $54.98 in gem packs to be able to do this. And that's going to be the TLDR reports. Now, for everyone else, I'd like you guys to pour your favorite drink Join my man Kermit here as you sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And here we go. I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Glorious purpose, huh? Well, let's find out. Let's check out these new skills. So Loki comes out here with these crazy new skills compared to what he used to have before, man. Um, First skill here, 200% Titan and Troop Lightning Damage, 70% Base Titan and Health, and 10 seconds after the battle starts, he's going to summon a Valkyrie's Shade and shield 10 allies. Don't worry, I'll be covering what the Shades are in a bit. Now the second skill is going to be 44% Titan and Troop Critical, 300% Titan and Troop Health, two times on attack, so that's 600% Troop and Titan Health. 180% Titan and Troop Lightning Damage, two times on attack. So we're already starting to get a lot of Lightning Damage. Awesome. Third skill, 35% Titan and Troop Ranged Resist, 250% Titan Health, I'm making this guy tanky, and 20 seconds after the battle starts, he'll summon Thor's Shade and Rage 10 allies. The next skill, 250% Titan and Troop Armor, 30% Titan and Troop All Elemental Resist, two times an attack so that should be 60 percent but i've seen some of the videos and i think it's actually taking away 30 percent so loki oh surprise surprise might have some bugs happening all right we also get 150 percent titan and troop armor piercing two times an attack says 300 percent armor piercing which is nowhere near enough but we'll see if something else helps us out later on with this guy's build fifth skill we're gonna have 40 percent titan and troop melee resist 30 seconds after the battle starts, it's going to summon Odin's Shade and cast three Lightning Storm spells. Sounds pretty cool, but what exactly is Shade? 
Shade is a word you hear everywhere. That's so shady and girl, where did the sun go? It's getting shady. Did you just shade me? There's just one little problem. Most of us aren't even using it or throwing it correctly. Throw Wait a second, I don't think that's what it means. <laughs> and actually guys, the shades of Nephilim are these little tiny shadows here. You see Thor, Odin, and Valkyrie. Now throwing shade in DOT is gonna require you to utilize the shades in Nephilim. Loki's gonna summon forth shades of his Valhallen allies from the mists of Nephilim to decimate the battlefield with the power of the Titans. Each shade has 75% of the damage and health of their normal Titan counterparts. Each shade has a 50% base resist to all elements. We're gonna talk about Valkyrie's shade first. Every 10% of Valkyrie's health that is lost, it's gonna shield Valkyrie which is pretty cool, making it really tanky for us. The next shade we get is Thor's shade. Every 10% of his health that's lost, it's gonna rage Thor. So I'm looking at both Valkyrie and Thor, if we can get them both in the mix, I'm curious if the splash of the spells would, would shield and rage all the troops around them. That'd be pretty cool. The last shade you're gonna get is Odin's shade. Now I guess when he comes in, it's gonna cast a lightning bolt wherever each of his ranged attacks hits. Pretty cool. And this is the big one, guys. You're gonna gain 25% Titan and troop armor piercing. Now my question is, is that an infinite amount? Is there no cap to that to just keep on going? So as long as Odin is just sitting there picking people off with his bow, we'll keep getting this thing? If so, that could lend to some serious strategy, right? This could make this Titan more high skill. You're going to have to really work it and, you know, to build up the, the armor piercing you would need to decimate troops that have this high armor, which the Archmages are bringing. I can't wait to get this Titan and try out some gameplay with him myself. Time to take a look at the updated prestige skills for Loki. Mischief Incarnate. That's pretty cool sounding. All right, don't forget, this is all based off level 10, so take these numbers with a grain of salt. Unless you're going to go all the way to P10, you're not going to see these numbers. But at P10, you're gonna have 120% base Titan damage and health. That is huge. Um, unlocked from prestige level one, on Titan critical, you have a 60% chance to summon Omega Storm Maidens, a max of five of those bad girls. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, at prestige level four, when Valkyrie's Shade is called, you're gonna get 250% Titan and Troop Lightning damage. That helps. At prestige level seven, when Thor's shade is called, you're going to get 250% Titan and Troop armor piercing and armor. That helps a lot. But the, all right. Now, the last one here at prestige level 10, when Odin's shade is called, it's going to heal all allied Titans by 40% and gain five Omega Storm Maidens. Now, this goes to my theory about this being a high skill Titan. If you're using your two other shades and Loki as meat shields to kind of gather everyone up, get everything going, and then when Odin drops, and unfortunately he seems to drop right in the middle of everything, get him out so he can be shooting things, he'll heal the Titans because obviously Loki and Thor and Valkyrie would have taken some damage, but it'll heal them up, keep them in the fight so he can be picking them off with his lightning bow, um, uh, making sure that you get lots of armor piercing. I think that would be the way to play this. It's not going to be a fast kill. It'll be slow going, but it's going to be like a freaking snowball effect of armor piercing for this guy and his troops. Anyways, that's what I'm going to try out when I get this dude. We'll see what happens. that song means it's time to look at the loot all right guys what do we got eight thousand souls in this event you're gonna get yourself storm tar this guy's an infiltrator lightning based eh, not too bad a little bit different i like his artwork though um i would say he's probably gonna be prestige food for most people nowadays but he is in there eight thousand souls not too bad all right, guys, let's move on to the next prize. What do we got? Hmm. 
Ooh, 10,000 souls. We are going to get the Maiden's Jewel. Sorry about cutting off there, guys. The screen got a little weird on me. But anyways, this Maiden's Jewel is going to give you 50% Titan Lightning Damage, 18% Imperials Resist Against Melee, and 18% Storm Maiden Resist Against Range. So basically, it's going to be useless for most of us in this event. 12,000 souls. We've got... Broom Hilda. This chick will hurt you, dude. Oh man. But anyways, I think she's one of the ones we need now for the new Pantheon, the Ratty um thing. So I'm glad that she's in here. It gives me hope that Civ is coming up quickly for me, because that's all I need now. But she's there, Broom Hilda, 12,000 souls. Um, she looks like she's a champion. Buffs herself and some storm maidens and her storm her lightning spells. Eh, once again, guys, most likely prestige food after you level it or level 40 to get yourself the ratty. Next, at 12,500 souls, we've got the Belt of Deceit. 20% Titan Critical, 40% Militia Health, 30% Militia Armor Piercing. Eh, pretty useless relic for us in this event, guys, so toss that sucker out. Next, at 15,000 souls, you've got... Brumhilda's Helm. You got 50% Titan and Troop Lightning Damage, 30% Storm Maiden Armor Piercing, 60% All Lightning Spells Damage. Now, this relic is actually useful for the Titan that we got in this event, Loki. Then, at 17,000 souls, we're going to get ourselves the Viking Helm. This is going to get you 50% Storm Maiden Damage, 30% Storm Maiden Armor Piercing, 12% Critical for All Troops. Not a horrible relic, um, but for the most part, not one that I see myself using in the build with Loki for this event or moving forward. I think I have a Viking helmet. It's still level one, dude. I haven't used it on anything, actually. All right, 19,000 souls. You're going to get the god of mischief, mischief himself, Loki. We already covered his skills, prestige skills, all that stuff. So let's move on. Beat it, Loki. All right, at 20,000 souls, we've got the Banner of the Storm. 50% Titan Lightning Damage, 30% Troop Damage, 18% Titan and Troop Armor Piercing. Not a horrible relic, but still not too sure that I'll be on my build. 23,000 souls, you're going to get yourself the Storm Potion. 60% Titan Lightning Damage, 50% Storm Maiden Damage, and 16% Storm Maiden Resist Against All Elements. Probably not going to use that one much either. Oh, man, some of these relics, dude, there's really not anything good. At 25,000 souls, you got the Boots of Deceit. 50% Titan damage. That's the only thing that matters on this thing. 30% Militia armor, 50% Militia damage. Useless for us. All right, guys, especially if you got yourself a Nemean Lion Pelt, you don't need this relic at all, really. Um, but if you don't, well, I guess the, the Titan damage does help a bit. And then finally, guys, at... 30,000 souls, Trickster's Blades. It is synergized with Loki now. So let's see here, 70% Titan damage, 70% Titan melee resist, 85% Titan ranged resist. On Loki, it's gonna give him an extra 50% Titan health and it will double the Titan damage to 140% Titan damage. And I think that's base damage, so that's huge. Huge. All right, guys. Now, this thing here is going to go great on all kinds of infiltrators. Zababa for one. Jinshu for two. All right. You have an infiltrator. Trifter's Blades are fantastic to turn them into a crazy tanky infiltrator. And last but not least, you're also going to get 600 Divine Gems. Um, we have a brand new five-star relic in the Archmage's Staff. Other things are coming up, so 600 Divine Gems will probably go a long way. But that does lead us to the age-old problem. Let's break it down for you. Politics. Always know if the juice is worth the squeeze. Basically, what my man here is saying is you got to make sure you understand what you're getting yourself into. Um, if you're going to grind out a Finish Plus event, you know you got to make sure it's worth it. Um, worth the time you're going to spend the money you're going to put into it, and the grind you're going to do. Nobody can make that decision for you. You have to sit down and think about it yourself. All right, let's move on to the math. Papers. The exam starts No. It's 
not that bad. <laughs> but anyways, guys, before we start our math, remember, I do not factor in a portal stone refresh rate, portal stone reward drops. I have no idea how many you're going to get. If it takes you longer than a minute in between attacks, that's going to mess up the time. Um, and I do not count the two, three, or four star boost relics. I just use one stars because my luck is horrible. So I'd rather give the worst case scenarios so you guys can be pleasantly surprised when your luck is hopefully better than mine. So think of all these numbers as a guesstimate on where to start. As always, we got to look at our boost titans first. Um, with a three star infiltrator titan, you'll get a 1.1 boost. Four star infiltrator titans will give you a 1.2 boost. And for the top boost of 1.4, you're going to do that with Loki, Nurgal, Tengu, or Zabava. Um, I'm not too sure if the tr Loki's Trinket will work. If it does, it'll give you a 1.7 boost, which is awesome. Um, the boost relic for this event is the Storm Candle. So if you've got any lying around from previous events, well, it's useful now. If not, well, that's the relic you're going to be using in this event. Other event rewards that'll help out with grinding are going to be portal stones, gems, and event tokens. You got 4,850 gems in this event, 1,000 portal stones, and 8 event tokens, which we will utilize for our math as we move forward. So this section is still pretty new, but I want to make sure I cover it for all of my grinders and free-to-play players. Um, the total souls included in the event. Now, this is the stuff that the developers have given us in the event through the prizes. Um, with 1,000 portal stones, we're going to get 4,662 souls out of that. Not too bad. The gems are going to get us another 3,700 souls. And with the event tokens, if we only get a one-star roll, we're going to get 3,500 souls. So for a total of about 12,000 souls, that's going to leave us with about 18,000 souls left. So we got 60% left in the event. But 40% of the souls required for this Finish Plus event are given to us in the event so keep that in mind guys when it comes to factoring what you need to have saved and lying around to finish things Whew. all right time to look at the math on the grind we're going to start with a pure grind Thirty thousand souls not using any tokens whatsoever is going to take 2143 battles that will cost you 5429 portal stones and about 27,724 gems to get those stones if you don't have them saved up. It's about a 36 hour grind. That's, you know, a lot of time, but we do have 90 hours. Now, if you do not have the um, uh, gems saved up to buy the stones, it's gonna be about $55 in gem pack. So it's a $55 event when you look at it this way. Not too horrible. Now, if you're gonna use the eight event tokens that are included in the event, based off a of one star relic roll, it's gonna take 1,951 battles, so a little bit less, right? It's going to cost a little bit less than stones, as you can see, 4,800 stones, a little less than gems, 24,000 gems, and it shaves off about uh, three and a half hours off your grind. Nothing too big, so hopefully you'll get way better rolls than one stars. But if you do not have the gems saved up to buy your portal stones, the best pack is a 27,000 pack for 50 bucks. Yeah. Now the next tables are going to be for all the players that feel this way about finishing this event. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, 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 I refuse, no, no. Yeah, I know. It's a wall of numbers, but I really wanted to cover this for my grinders and free-to-play players, especially if you're not going to be doing this event to get Loki or to get the um, uh, the Trisher's Blades. You just want to save up for next week because we have our fourth Arc Mage coming out. Now, looking at tokens, we've got three tokens at 2,000 souls, four tokens at 4,500 souls, Five tokens at 7,000 souls. Six tokens at 14,000 souls. 21,000 souls will get you seven event tokens. And 26,000 souls will get you eight. But what's worth going for? Whew. Well, if you look at this chart, you can see pretty easily that the first four, right? The three, four, five, and six tokens are going to be your best bet. Simply for the fact 
that the amount of gems it's going to cost to buy the portal stones that grind it out is less than what it would cost to actually buy those tokens outright. The last two over here, 21,000 souls and 26,000 souls, are way overpriced for the event tokens. Not even worth going for. So if you guys are going to grind this out this, this weekend just to get tokens, um, the bare minimum obviously is 2,000 souls to get three tokens. If you can get yourself up to like four and a half thousand or seven thousand souls, you're doing really, really awesome. Um, the 14,000 soul one, eh, you know, it's a proposition bet on your end. But yeah, um, seven is probably good. Four and a half is a sweet spot for most grinders if you're just going for the tokens and maybe trying to place reasonably to get some gems on your team. That's where I would go, guys. So go ahead and look at that table and decide accordingly where you're going to grind to this weekend if you're not finishing the event. All right, for my pessimists, the worst case scenario. Let's say you have a bunch of saved up relics and you're going to sit there and use them or even worse, buy them at 2,000 gems a pop. Well, if you got nothing but one star rolls the entire weekend, it would take 59 saved or bought relics to finish this event. Plus the eight, that should be eight, not six, I'm sorry, guys, including this. It would take 67 relics total. That is crazy, crazy. All right, guys, so don't do that. Don't don't, don't spend all your tokens if you're only getting one-star rolls, guys. Take a break, walk away from the screen, come back maybe 20 minutes later. Hopefully your luck has changed, hopefully. If you are new to my videos, guys, I highly recommend that you take a screenshot of this little tiny table. This will give you the breakdown on what you can expect to get with a two, three, four star event tokens. Um, it helps to show you what it will shave off of your grind, how many battles you get to do less of, stones, gems, time, all of that. Just keep that in mind, guys. But one big thing is these are unstacked, not stacked. If you stack them, you will get slightly less souls, but it's not a deal breaker, so don't worry about it. So in closing out the math, guys, to answer the question directly, how many tokens and gems do you need? Um, the maximum amount of gems you would need to be able to do this thing is 27,724. Um, the maximum amount of tokens you would need with the worst case scenario is 59 of them. So any combination of these, you can do this event and finish it. Totally up to you guys. I'm going to do it. Not too sure about you. So is this event worth it? And my thoughts. For me, it is. I've been holding out and waiting for Trickster's Blades for a while because I'm saving all my DG gems up and it's always been a pain in the butt not having that on my Zabava to do all the cool things you see all the cool kids doing with their Zabava. I need this, so I'm going to get that relic. Um, Loki's reskill is just um, uh, frosting on the cake for me. Now, I think I'm going to have some fun trying to see if I can crack the code um, on how to make Loki actually work correctly. Um, I really do think the trick will be keeping Odin alive and out of the fray so that he can build up that armor piercing and then go into it. So the battles will be long, but it will eventually bear it out. And that is my theory. That's what I'm gonna try doing. All right, and that's this week's video for this weekend's event, Loki, man. He's coming back, Trickster's Blade. I know I'm going for it. Not too sure about you guys. But, um, yeah, I got some work. <laughs> I'm going to be grinding, man. It's a lot of battles. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you guys out there, right? Um, thanks for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did stick around this long and you are not yet subscribed, hmm, hopefully you'll just hit that button, dudes. It'll help out a lot. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so any help is awesome. Um, if you guys could share this video with your alliance mates, I would really appreciate it. That would be awesome as well. All right, guys. Well, until I see all of you guys with your Trisha's Blades rocking with me, this is Dar Shigong. I hope to catch all of you amazing people gaming on the dark side.